Using a GoPro successfully takes a little learning and a lot of practice. Here are my top 10 tips to getting the most from your GoPro. Take some time to learn your GoPro. Go through the settings and learn which resolutions and frame rates are best for your project, whether it's fast paced action you're after or slow mos, whether you're shooting with wide scenic shots or yourself up close, even down to whether the lighting will be good enough for sharp video. Check out and play with the time lapse settings since adding a short time lapse clip to show the passage of time in a video project creates a great effect. Protune offers some powerful functionality too, so learn it. The more you learn the ins and outs of your GoPro, the better your shots will be. Similarly, get to know your different mounting options. Learn how to properly apply a suction cup on a vehicle. A helmet mount may give you a good perspective, but shots can be shaky in more extreme conditions, just like hand holding a GoPro. So consider a selfie stick or a hand grip to smooth out those shots. Don't be afraid to look for third party solutions either. Some of them can be even better than GoPro's mounts and are half the price. Try to get as many different angles as possible to later give you greater choice when editing your video project. A single perspective can get boring whereas mixing different angles together creates an immersive and interesting edit. Remember when shooting people you'll need to get closer up due to the wide angle fisheye lens on the GoPro. Alternatively try pointing the camera at their hips rather than the face to get a full body shot. Preview the shot to ensure the camera is capturing the action. Sometimes you don't have time to enable Wi-Fi and pair up the GoPro app, so use that LCD screen on the back of your silver or invest in an LCD backpack for other models. There's nothing worse than getting half a shot because of an incorrectly lined up camera. Carry a microfiber cloth with your gear and use it religiously between shots. You want to keep that lens area clean and free from water droplets, dust or debris at all times. Invest in some extra batteries, whether they're GoPro originals or not, you'll need them for longer shooting sessions. In cold weather, keep charged batteries in your pocket so they stay warm and retain power. Colder batteries will drain faster. If space permits, consider external USB power to keep the camera shooting even longer. Action cameras like the GoPro are not built for great audio, especially when sealed in a waterproof housing. When shooting in dry conditions, consider a skeleton housing or the frame in order to keep the microphones free from obstruction. Better still, try a mic adapter with an external microphone or even an external audio capture device altogether in order to get the best quality audio possible. Don't move between shot ideas like a frantic goldfish. This rapid fire style of shooting can leave you with a lot of unusable clips that'll look rushed. Instead, calm down. Shoot the clip and let it roll for a few moments longer than you really need it to. Above all else, it'll give you some extra buffer space around shots for transitions when it comes to your edit. Avoid setting the GoPro to record and leaving it to record for long periods. You'll end up chewing through batteries and having to trawl through tons of footage when it comes to edit your project. As mentioned earlier, try different angles and be selective with your shots. If that doesn't work, don't be afraid to highlight tag your video. Not only will it make the editing phase quicker and easier, it will create a more entertaining video for the viewer. At the end of the day, back up all your clips onto a computer or external drive. There's nothing worse than capturing that once in a lifetime event, only to result in a corrupt memory card. Not enough space on your computer? Then invest in an external hard disk drive. It'll be worth it. There's no doubt the GoPro is a fantastic action camera, as long as it's used in the best way for your particular shooting scenario. Follow the tips mentioned and you'll be capturing like a pro in no time.